Alright. Um Yeah, this is another request from Lydia, PayPal and Patron. Um Mark Lanigan, I think I've done two of his tracks. Uh and he is from the same he's from Seattle too, isn't he? He is part of that grunge era. When I heard him before, I, I thought he was older than the grunge era, but I'm pretty sure he is like in that grunge group. Like the Sound Gardens, Nirvana's and Alice in Chains. Um yeah, all that crew. But where did you sleep last night? Oh, I love this track. I actually do a cover of this track, so I might put that up at some point. Um, Mark Lanigan, Where Did You Sleep Last Night? Which is, it's a Lead Belly track originally. But let's see what he done with it. Because I think Nirvana has the best version of this track. I think Nirvana's version is like on the um, MTV Unplugged. I love that. That's actually where I heard the tune first, I think. But yeah, let's go. This is he's he's changed this a lot because that's that's the third verse, but even his backing on this track, um, very much more grungy, no, much more grungy. This would make if I heard this track first, like, this would have made so much more sense. But the first track, I thought he was he sounded way older than the grunge era, but this track and even his like the beginning of it. My girl, my girl. Yeah, that deep. Yeah, and then he kind of jumped up. Yeah, this is a very different version. Let's go. Definitely created a very dark vibe around it, but this, this is a very dark track anyway. Um, yeah, even the original Lead Belly, which when would that have been? Nine, that would have been the 30s, wasn't it? This tune was, which is crazy that this song was like uh, had a resurgence here, yeah, obviously in the 90s, late 80s, whenever this was. Um, but it also would make sense where I wonder if this is where Nirvana got it from or whether this came out after Nirvana's. Um, also, he's got that. If you listen, you can hear the feedback ring in. Like, and just that alone creates a like an underlaying sound that your ears aren't picking up, but they are. You're not consciously noticing it. But I just worked out, yeah, it's got this ringing feedback sound behind it, which is 
it's very he's created such a dark vibe which I, yeah it is a dark track but still he's definitely brought the darkness out of this track but let's go was a lot different than I because I don't know why I was expecting like a so I'm sure the first song I thought was very country sounding and I was expecting like an acoustic sound but that was more like on the kind of vibe of the early sound garden like that was so grungy so like yeah very dark very dark um interpretation of the track Mm. I have to listen to that again. Because, yeah, really, Lead Bellies and Kurt Cobain's is the two I listen to. But I'm not going to have to add this one to the list because, yeah, he did a great job of that. But again, made it, definitely made it his own. The long ringing notes. But that that track is very suited for grunge. Even the vibe of the lyrics is kind of her husband was a hard working man about a mile from here. His head was found in the driver's wheel, but his body was never found or something like that. It says it is um I think it's about two lovers killing the woman's husband or her killing the husband. I think. But yeah, that was a very interesting version. Very, very dark. Very dark. But yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet. 